Hello everyone, this is Builder Shed here, and today, well, let me just show you right here. Maybe you're wondering to yourself, how did I get this quote unquote Windows only browser whose installer breaks through breaks when you try to install through Wine? Completely opened on Linux, seemingly working just fine. Able to browse the web almost fine on it. On it, like I can go to Chromeville.com or whatever. Ever or go to I can go anywhere on here like though I will say there is there is a little issue where it will freeze you know, after enough so I do not know what's going on there but I'm just stating the facts but this browser works almost most functionally with some things that are just not Like, hold on, let, let me find it. With some things that are not fully, um, yeah, that are not fully functional, but yeah. So I got my wallpaper set as this, so I can scale this up as much as I want. Yep. Yeah, this is Opera X being fully functional, and like I said, this is <laughs> partially a showcase for what wine can do. So I can go on potentially, I can go potentially anywhere. Like here's YouTube, and I think it just froze. Yeah, I'm not going to play anything because of the current state where it's like YouTube's just full on. Oh, you play this one sound. I'm going to make sure your channel's rub deep to the ground. Like YouTube has this deep fetish with with like shoving channels deep into the ground. Like what's wrong with you? But like I said, here's the part where it freezes. I, it usually happens with sides that seem to be a bit too... Kind of, or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to close it. Yep, Terminate Opera GX, and it will do it. So you may be wondering, how do I get to this point where Opera GX runs just fine? Well, let me show you. So, this is... Basically, the little guide I followed, followed to basically get Opera GX on Linux, and it's by someone on Reddit. And before anyone just starts going like, oh, "Reddit's full of home, Reddit's full of gays, Reddit's full of blah blah blah, Reddit's full of incels, Reddit's full of fat people, whatever, whatever," calm yourself down. Reddit's full of everyone, okay? So. This person managed to get Opera GX working, and it, and it took him a lot of experience, experimentation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, yep. So first thing was then basically blah 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 run wine config or terminal and so mono etc etc I'm pretty sure there is a an app for that yeah it, it you, you just go in here type in wine click configure wine I think let me just make sure of that yep it's right there so and then let it, and then what you'd want to do is you'd want to download and run Opera GX installer so now let's go to Opera dot com slash gx thanks and we can accept some cookies there ain't no harm in that right now so it's installed a little exe 
And the reason why you want to do that is because there needs to be some registry, registry tweaks done to wine in of itself, your, your wine prefix, in order to allow it. How Opera GX can run. And that's what the part before it crashes does. So, yeah. So let's go into... Well, for one, I'm going to go into... Not there. I'm going to go into Applications, Wine. Browse my C drive real quick. And I'm just going to go Nuclear on Opera GX real quick. Crash. Oh yes, I have Metal Gear Rev Rising Revengeance. <laughs> if you want to see a, me do a let's play of that, just tell me. So yeah. So now I think we're now where we need to go is straight to downloads. Just find Opera GX setup. This one right here, and let's just load it with Wine Windows Program Loader which is by default but sometimes it's not default let's click on it and if it's not by default you go down to open with so yeah so now it's loading up this and it's going to bring up install path so you want to change that you don't want to use these what you want to do is go down to C which is basically the wine prefix prefix AK what it thinks is Windows. <laughs> Go under program files and make a new folder called Opera. And then just click OK. And then, no, obviously not. And click accept and install and it's going to do its thing and I'll be back once this thing is frozen so it looks like this has been frozen on this so let's no not settings <laughs> there goes latte um, let's pop that sucker right back up and pop open um, what is it oh yeah system monitor let's let's put let's pop open our equivalent to task manager here and right here you have wine windows program loader let's just quit the application and right now it's terminating the application Here is just the overall greater processes. It's this page right here. And got upper GX setup. So now we just dealt with that one. So now if we check our files, files, and I think it'd be in. Hold on. I pulled a stupid right there. Um, Let's go down to wine, browse my C drive, program DB. We now have a new opera directory, but this is not fully ready yet, obviously. So let's click X on that. And now what we need to do is we need to open up a Windows virtual machine. And this can be any type of Windows virtual machine as long as the version of Windows 
supports Opera GX. So I will use the hypervisor that supports Windows the best, which is VMware. Because, yeah. And don't mind the fact I have a crap ton of Windows virtual machines. I even have a Windows Server 2022 virtual machine, which I got a tutorial coming up related to connecting when connecting a Linux computer to Windows Server. If y'all want to see that, so yeah. So I'm gonna boot up a Windows. Yeah. So when it comes to the virtual machine, here's how you'd want to set it up. You want to go to shared folders and you want to set it up like that. Now you want to launch it up. So you want to click on on this. Well, actually, Windows Server could actually probably tolerate. Yeah, it, we're, we're just going to go with that. Um, shared folders, always enabled. Map as network drive. Um, um what, where is it? Just go here. Just name it my signature right there and click save and start the sucker up. Oh, whoops. Looks like we got something to deal with right here. Be right back. Now we shouldn't have a problem. Yep, we're good here now. So, now yeah, it's booting up. Now I'll be back right back when this sucker is fully boot up. So now let me log in. Yeah, I'm just doing the doing it from Windows Server for fun. Because <laughs> just to uh, flavor it up a bit. So, yep. Now it's logging the user in. And we should be good to go in a second to download the installer and get it over to our host machine for us to fully dump into the right directory so yeah right back when this fully loaded which it is now valid for for 150 more days but a bing <laughs> so it's and this resolution needs fixed hold on Welcome to Windows Server is all I can say right here. We just do it like that and then just send this sucker to full screen. Now what you want to look for, well hold on, I'm going to make sure that little thing's in the network directory real quick first. So it's in there. I'm going to delete the old one. Permanently delete this folder. Yes. So I'm going to pop into Edge real quick. The other browser open on other windows so I can follow back along.
You got Putin looking like a troll down there. So... Let's... Now, let's look up Opera GX and let's get that sucker installed because I'm somehow probably now etching on a bit more than 15 minutes. Ain't no way. So, let's get that sucker on here. Accept cookies. Download Opera GX. It's not even that long. So now, this thing has got done installing. Let's load it up. Let's click. And click. Let's click some options. See what we got. Administrator dot server test app data. Oh, this is not server test. Or is it? Oh wait, yes it is. Slash local slash programs. Yup. You're not running when my computer starts. So now it's doing its installation right here. And I'll be right back when this thing is done doing its installation. So now, obviously, as you can tell, it's installed on the Windows virtual machine. And once it's all on the Windows virtual, machi virtual machine, you're ready for the next step. So. Just close out there and now let's head to this PC and just go down here well actually you want to do the average app data percent go back to local and then programs and then you want to go under Opera GX you want to actually copy this And you want to go over to your network, where you dropped your network stuff, which is right over here, and just paste it. And there you should be close to ready. So now it's in there. There, I, some just popped up my host machine, so man. So yeah, so now let's close it, and now we're ready to ch to turn this off. Other planned. Let's click it, and now that sucker's shutting off. You just probably push that to the side, and. Let's pop up in our file manager. So now we got a sucker to deal with. Hold on, I'm get back over here. Okay, for one, I kind of underestimate that this would be called and be called Opera GX. So <laughs> I'm gonna call it Opera GX, and let's go to that same file I went. I cloned and this is obviously causing a situation well going to so so I'm gonna need to copy this which is the full installation of Opera GX and I'm gonna need to copy it over to well now, let me show you where the full wine installation is. Where, where the wine prefix is. And that is, if I can find a .w somewhere. This is not in alphabetical order. It's in drive C, and I'm going to go under here. I'm going to paste this. I'm going to write it to and overwrite. 
And it's finished copying those. And what you want to do now is, well, launch it. And I think you should be ready actually now. We're almost ready. Should take a little second. Yep, here it is. Opera GX. Loaded up on Linux. It's taking a little bit, of course, but don't mind that. So, do your browsing and stuff, etc., etc. And it's literally has the capability of an old browser. So I'm probably going to, yeah. So I'm going to see if I do some other things with this, maybe try to integrate this more, and I'll be right back. But right now, we got Opera GX fully installed on here, and that I already consider is something that's a medial task, but is actually pretty easy. So, yeah. It's not the end yet. I'll be back after some experimentation. After some experimentation, I my I was trying to get it to run in bottles, and as you can see here, it did not work. Well, it did not work successfully. That was the problem. So yeah. Of course, my computer is being having a world record volume here for its noise, so I have no clue what's going on, but yeah. So, yeah, but as I've shown you, when you, I've, but as I have shown you, you, this is how you get how you get Opera GX on Linux and like I said if I open it right now it should load up right here this is Opera GX for you And this has been Builder Shed. Hope to see y'all next time. See ya.